Hello, I am Northwest Trees Gaming over on uh, Northwest Trees Gaming YouTube. I also have my own website. Uh, today I am going to be just covering a basic tutorial on mod elements, explaining what they are, each individual element, how to create them, um, uh, just a general overview of how to create them. And um, yeah, so basically when you create your workspace, uh, you'll be presented at this page here. You just click on workspace here. And the first tab that should be open is an empty uh, mod element thing, uh, like open basically a blank workspace like this. Uh, there'll be none of these items here. Um, over here is your navigation. Uh, first thing that you want to do is open your resources, import your textures or any of your sounds, models, or anything like that, structures that you want to add, and then you can actually start working on your mod elements. Uh, each mod element is basically a singular item for your mod. Uh, your mod will be built up of uh, quite a few of these mod elements to actually do things. Um, procedures are a mod element now. They used to be events, but now they're an actual um, specific mod element. So over here I'm just going to cover the different uh, buttons that you have for options for mod elements. So this is to create a new mod element, this is to edit one, this is to delete one or many of them, and this is the code editor so you can edit the code if you know programming and stuff like that that's handy. And you can lock or unlock elements uh, using this button here. So uh, to edit a mod, um, that's more of um, basically in order to create a mod, um, you, you need to create a mod before you can edit one, but uh, when, once you have a actual mod you can edit, you can click on it and click edit, and then you can reconfigure the settings that you've put into your uh, mod element. So, um, for example, this is just a simple crafting recipe. I could uh, change the block to, say, sponge, and then it will craft leaves instead. And then you just click next, and then it will compile it all over again. So, that's basically how you can re edit um, mod elements. If you want to create a mod element, uh, you click that, and then you select one of the um, types of mod elements here. Uh, I'm just going to go through the list and explain what each individual mod element is and what they are meant to do. So achievements are for um, things like progression. When you find diamonds you get an achievement in vanilla Minecraft. Um, they're just basically pro progressions in the game to let other players know if you're on others on the server that you've uh, reached a specific goal, stuff like that. Armor is things that will protect you. Uh, for example, um, leather armor. There's a complete set of leather armor and stuff like that. Uh, biomes are things like forests, um, jungles. Those are all biomes. You can create your own biome here. Blocks are pretty much everything in Minecraft, almost outside of items. Uh, yeah, grass is a block, dirt is a block, stone is a block, those are all different types of blocks. Uh, you can make transparent blocks as well in this particular one, as well as custom models as well. Commands are things like the time set day or things like that. You can um, configure the functionality of using procedure to make your... I think you can configure it using procedures, so I'm not entirely sure about that. Yes, you can use procedures. So you'll be able to set procedures and stuff. Um, so basically you'll be able to create um, functionality commands to do specific things uh, when a player types in a specific um, string of code like a command. Um, the creative tab is when you're in creative Im the creative inventory and you want to search for specific blocks. Um, those tabs at the top when you open your up your inventory are creative tabs they're basically lists all the different types of items and stuff like that you can create one for your own mod 
dimensions or things like the nether and, and the overworld. You can create your own dimension as well. Um, fluids are things like water and lava. You can create your own fluid. Foods are things that you can feed to your pets. Um, what else? Uh, you're, they're drinkable or edible, so they both have um, uh, drinking or eating properties as well. Fuel are things that will power a furnace. Um, things like wood planks, coal, lava buckets are all fuel types. Uh, GYs are things like um, inventories for chests, uh, the uh, inventory for crafting tables, stuff like that are all GUI windows. Inventory or items are basically uh, items such as diamonds, um, let's see what's another one, uh, I think minecarts are a item, there's also um, other items like sticks and stuff, resource items that you can um, make and you can make your own for your mod as well. Uh, these are generally used for crafting recipes and other things like, um, you know, just general crafting and stuff like that. You can do pretty much anything with an item that you want, um, but they're not placeable like blocks. So, key binds are th key um, combinations that you can put together to do a specific thing. Um, for example, if you were to use a uh, shift that would be a specific keybind to crouch in vanilla minecraft you can also set up your own keybinds to do certain things mobs are things like aggressive mobs as um for example creepers or you can also make pigs stuff like that uh, there's preset models but i think you can still use techni to create your own models and stuff like that. Um, not entirely sure because I haven't really experimented too much with uh, mobs, but you can create your own. Overlays are things that overlay your actual game um, screen. Um, for example, your survival hotbar or creative inventory hotbar are overlays for your actual screen. Um, things like the Health bar for a mob would be an overlay, things like that. Um, you can add your own overlay for text. Um, you might be able to do images and stuff like that as well. Plants are things like grass. Um, what's another one? Flowers you can place. You can also make growable um, plants as well, such as sugar cane and um, other types of resources as well. Procedures add functionality. Um, I'll do a quick showcase of what a procedure system looks like. Um, I have one already set up here, but they are kind of like uh, the old event system where you could basically do certain things to add functionality to say blocks and other elements. Uh, they're crucial when you're making a really good mod um, to have functionality to expand onto the actual base element. Uh, range items are basically things that, with projectiles that shoot out of them. It's kind of like a bow or a crossbow in 1.14. Uh, you can create your own types of range items there. Recipes are handy. Uh, you might have saw the recipe that I had prior. Um, you, they add recipes to vanilla crafting tables and vanilla furnaces. So you can make smelting or crafting recipes there. Uh, structure spawns um, allow you to either use NBT structures, which are made from using structure blocks in vanilla Minecraft. You can give yourself a structure block in creative, going uh, give uh, tab whatever player uh, ID you have, and then the um, structure block, and then it should come up and give you a structure block. Uh, if you want to use MC Edit, uh, you can use uh, schematics as well to uh, use um, structure spawn. So things like that, uh, like structures that spawn are like ocean monuments, uh, certain villages are structures. Um, what else is there? There's um, jungle temples, uh, desert temples, those are all structures. And finally, last but not least, is tools. Uh, things like axes, um, pickaxes, and um, swords 
as well as you can create your own custom tools as well in here. So those are all the basic um, tool elements that you can create. Uh, if you're deleting a element, you can basically hold control and then select a bunch, or you can just select one and then click the delete button here and it will delete it. It'll compile the uh, workspace once it's uh, been deleted. And uh, procedures look something like this. You can actually add a bunch of different um, things to create your procedure. Uh, the main thing that I think most people are having an issue with is trying to figure out the way to set up your procedure to do what you want it to do. Um, they can be a little bit complicated if you don't have an idea what you need to do for a specific um, uh, end goal for your mod, but um, this is basically just testing uh, for a specific biome, um, three different types of biomes, and if it's true then it's just basically replacing the general leaf block. Um, I've done a tutorial on this particular thing, so I don't really need to go into details how it all works, but uh, yeah, that's basically uh, an overview of how procedures and uh, how to make your procedures and stuff like that. So hopefully you found this useful. Um, also, uh, definitely uh, check out my website, northwesttreesgaming.com. I do a lot of tutorials on there as well. And uh, hope you enjoyed. See you guys next time.